you know, rest in peace, nut. If I'm saying that, you already know what it was. I've been knowing nut. I've been knowing greedy, been knowing bird, Reggie, freedom, like been knowing them f from the beginning. They not a hold on. That's that's not on. That's not YSL though. No, nah, why? No, nah, that's not YSL. That's that's YFN. That's Lucci. Well, Lucci is connected with them. They was all family. But you asked about YSL. And yeah, and I know Roscoe. Pee Wee Roscoe with yeah. the YSL. Yeah. You said keep the rest of them. Yeah, keep the rest of them. And you know, normally when I hear somebody say something like that, it's because of like they don't agree with somebody cooperating or something like that. Like, why? Why do you say that in particular? I mean, I knew you said R.I.P. Nut because of them being linked to his passing. Or why do you say that? Yeah, basically. I think we all looked at it as it was a f***ed situation, but you know, it's casualties at war. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit. <laughs> We was at war, shit. It was on site. So, ain't no, you know, and certain shit happens. And I think everybody, everybody, you know. I was prepared. Everybody was prepared, everybody took it on the chin. Ain't really much you could do. Yeah, man, I feel that, man. Um, man, just taking it back. Um, a little bit too, man. Like somebody else that was I saw linked or I got familiar with from like the Smack DVDs that was around CTE was um uh, and I saw him like on a, a Smack DVD with Fabulous linked to BMF, but I think CTE really was the first to put him out. It was a uh, Pee Wee Roscoe. I saw him. He was in a um a show that Ti had at one point in time and all of yeah, that. Yeah, Roscoe, Lil Roscoe. Yeah, but he, but you see more the... more so recently he was in the news um for allegedly shooting up Lil Wayne's tour bus and he went away for that. Then he got out and then he got picked up um, and indicted in the YSL, you know, whole um, Rico case. You know, like anything you can say about Pee Wee Roscoe, man, and what do you think about the whole YSL situation? You know, free Pee Wee Roscoe, you know, that's, that's, that's the bro, that's the homie. That's the little homie, like I had, we had plenty of good times together on tour. He know this, he know how we go back. Free little Pee Wee Roscoe. When you keep the rest of them niggas, let them niggas fry. We don't, you know, rest in peace, nut. Free Greedy, free Bird, free Reggie. Shout out to CKP, Crown King Productions, my niggas Mud Cuz, Tuna, Cheese. You know, that's that. Free Roscoe, but keep the rest. That's a new campaign I'm going to start doing. Free PB Roscoe, but keep the rest of them. Damn, why do you say that? Like, I don't know. It's, it's a lot of other people on that game. It's self-explanatory. You know, rest in peace, nut. If I'm saying that, you already know what it was. I've been knowing nut. I've been knowing greedy, been knowing bird, Reggie, freedom. Like, been knowing them f from the beginning. They not a but hold on. That's that's not on. That's not YSL though. No, nah, no, nah, that's not YSL. That's that's YFN. That's Lucci. Well, Lucci is connected with them. They was all family. But you asked about YSL. Yeah, and I know Roscoe. Pee Wee Roscoe yeah. with the YSL. Yeah. You said keep the rest of them. Yeah, keep the rest of them. And you know, normally when I hear somebody say something like that, it's because of like they don't agree with somebody cooperating or something like that like why why do you say that in particular i mean i knew you said r.i.p nut because of them being linked to his passing or why do you say that yeah basically that's all it is that's all do you have any like interactions with like thug when you was in uh atlanta i've okay. been around thug plenty of times oh yeah I've been around the, he, he came, we've we been around him plenty of times, with Birdman and all them back in then when him and Rich Homie Quanty was all still together. We did shows that crucial with him and all type of shit, yeah. Yeah, I guess I assume like Lucci too though, you know. Lucci? Um, I really... Oh, you ain't mess with Lucci. No, nah, I fuck with Lucci and him, T.I.G. Yeah, I fuck with T.I.G, but I really don't have no 
times I was really around Lucci though. No, for sure. You know what I'm saying? I got times I was around Rich Homie Quine. No. You gotta understand, he was on the My Nigga song. So, it was times that we fucked around at doing Jimmy Kimmel Live and all type of shit, so. That's dope, bro. Um, I mean, you well, you did say a name, you said R.I.P. Nut, man. That's that's somebody who's been mentioning, a, um, it's like different documentaries on YouTube about them. I understand it's like some type of history between YSL, YFN. Um, but like, what was your relationship with him, with Nut? Um, I've been knowing Nut. I've been knowing Nut from being around the fourth ward. I've been knowing Nut before any of that gang shit even came around there. He wasn't, wasn't no blood or no crip shit. Like Nut, you know, Nut was just Nut. Nut always been a, in my eyes, an OG in the neighborhood. So, and Nut used to come. Nut used to fuck with us hard. Nut used to come to a lot of our shows, a lot of our parties in Atlanta. He used to fuck with us. So we we always fuck with Nut. And so what was I think you say he was an OG, but did he have any like what was his ties musically? That was Lucci Manor. That was his manager. Yeah, yeah. That was Lucci manager, yeah. Um, he said you you knew him before that. Yeah, I knew him way before that, yeah. What type of dude was he? Nut. Nut was 100. Nut was solid. Nut was real. Nut was a real nigga. Mm -hmm. Now, I ain't, he ain't never did no fake shit around us. You know what I'm saying? He ain't mm -hmm. never did no... He always was solid. I always came and fucked with us, like I said. Mm -hmm. And we fucked with him. Oh, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So... Any, uh, you got like... Uh, last time you chopped it up with him, do you remember? No, nah, I don't. I don't remember that. No, for sure. For I sure. don't remember that. I mean, but I used to see him all the time. I used to see him. You know, I used to see him, his brother, and all of them say, shake up, what's up, my nigga, all that shit, yeah. But not as far as, like, we went and kicked it in, you know. But y'all y'all still was cool, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, that's crazy. So yeah. you know, bro, you, you said a, a lot of different names. It's it's a name um, I've heard mentioned. It's, it's, his name is a, it's King Troop. Do you know him, or did you Troop? know him? Yeah, I know the Troop. Rest in peace, Troop. Yeah, Who was, yeah. So what, anything you can say about him? Troop, Troop was 100. Troop was a real nigga. I fuck with Troop. Hell yeah. Troop used to come and fuck with us a lot. You know? Fuck Not with sure. us a lot. And he fucked with a lot of niggas that we fucked with too. So, you know, he used to fuck with Allen Iverson real hard. So, he used to all, Troop always been a name around Atlanta. He always was one of them niggas. Okay. Because when I heard, I don't heard the nut. I heard nut and I heard uh, Troop. You, you hear everybody scream out Troop. Troop was a real one. Troop fucked with everybody. You know what I'm saying? No, for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, but any, you say so. You said you and Pee Wee Roscoe, y'all did have a a, a history like y'all y'all got. A, yeah, Pee Wee Roscoe like been time. been on tour with us and everything. Man, bro, on the outside looking in, it seemed like he always like was kind of ahead of his time. We always Pee Wee always man, Pee Wee always been ahead of his time. <laughs> Like how how was he that young on the smack? He like he was about eleven or something Man, on the smack. Man, Pee Wee always been ahead of his time. Anybody know little Pee Wee Roscoe? He always, he always. Man, Pee Wee, you know what Pee Wee? I mean, you know the you know certain people how they grow up. You they gotta be ahead of their time. He was advanced. You know what I'm saying? He had to be ahead of his time. You know what I'm saying? Plus he was around niggas that, you know, BMF. He around these niggas at 15, 14, you know, some young boy, you know what I'm saying? So you, when you around a lot of bosses and niggas that's got paper, you can't do nothing but, you can't be nothing but be advanced. You gonna be a lot more advanced than the, the older, the younger motherfuckers that's your age. Cause you, at this point, you, you, can't think of the word. You no, I feel, I feel what you're saying, though. Yeah, you in that atmosphere. You yeah. around the people. You associated with people. You you going to blend in. You're going to adapt to yeah, it. Gonna yeah, adapt it's going to rub off on yeah. you. Yeah, you ain't got no choice but rub off on you. So when you go around people your age, they ain't even going to understand you. Mm. They going to think you, nigga, who you think you am? My big brother. And then, you know, but he that's who he around all day, big brothers. Mm. Nah, I used to, I remember seeing him. I didn't know who he was at the time, but down the line, like seeing him on TV, with the T.I. show and this, that, and the third. Pee Wee Roscoe, the only nigga I seen made Floyd Mayweather shut up, man. Make him shut up? Make him shut up like, like you can't you can't flex on me. Like, Roscoe was on his ass one day. For real. On his ass. <laughs> Money Mayweather. Money Mayweather. He told Money Mayweather he going to take him to a hotel room that got a ceiling fan and show him how to throw money in the strip club because he just don't know how to do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
I remember when, when when Roscoe came to our studio, Floyd was out there in some of his cars, and Pee Wee was going hard on them niggas. Like, man, y'all niggas that put a kick on a Bentley, y'all niggas lost y'all mind, man. Like, he was on the ass <laughs> at a young age. That's crazy. And that's when him and Floyd got tight. Floyd Mayweather. Mm -hmm. We messed with the money team. Yeah, dude, dude was uh, he said Roscoe was, a real one. Roscoe was a real one. He just get he just mm -hmm. got put in some bad situations. But other than that, Roscoe Roscoe a real one. Mm -hmm. It sounded like out of character for him to when he got locked up for like if he was all about getting paper and all of that, you know. He caught up in yeah, like I like said, it's a it's allegedly, you know. If he didn't do it, you would never know who did it because he so, ain't gonna tell. For sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never heard about him telling about no bullshit. So. 